Today I'm going to explain how to set up the Enhanced Write Filter in HORM on a Windows Embedded Operating System. The reason that we use the Enhanced Write Filter in HORM is simply because when you put a computer into an industrial environment, um, you're not always going to get a, a safe su shutdown as Windows requires. And a safe shutdown is uh, as follows. You have to hit the Start button and then hit Shutdown and shut down again, okay? So a lot of times in a factory environment that doesn't happen and what does happen is the machine either loses power uh, by nobody's fault or uh, the power to the entire machine is shut down without doing this controlled shutdown. Uh, when you do not do a controlled shutdown uh, what can happen is uh, operating system files can become corrupted. They have to get updated periodically and if a file is being written to on your hard drive or compact flash um, and it loses power, that file can become corrupted. What that will give you the next time you power the computer on is a blue screen. Now most of the time you're not going to have that problem but there is a small percentage of times when this could happen to you. So since um, the chances are much greater in a factory environment of a blue screen on power up, um, it is recommended to use an enhanced write filter. Now what the enhanced write filter does is when you have it enabled it protects your hard drive from um, files getting damaged or even saved for that matter. So when you, when you enable the Enhanced Write Filter, it takes the operating system and loads it into um, a memory location and page file area. It's, it's stored in a temporary area. Um, and for all intents and purposes, uh, your application will run just as it did on XP Pro without the Enhanced Write Filter. However, if you, for example, get a virus or you power the computer down incorrectly, what happens is the computer powers down and then the next time it powers up, the entire operating system is reloaded again into this uh, memory area. And it's, it's a clean load of the operating system. Any file corruptions or viruses that you might have had are gone. You're starting all over again. So this makes it very convenient to um, run a computer in an industrial environment. Okay, before you enable the Enhanced Write Filter, you have to first set the computer up. Um, and to do that, uh, we need to enable hibernation. So on your desktop, right-click with your mouse and go into the Properties. And when the GUI comes up here, we want to go into the screen saver and go into the power settings. This is where you enable the uh, hibernate mode. So on the tab over, the third tab over, we want to enable by hitting that checkbox, enable the hibernate mode. So then we'll hit apply and OK. And hit OK once again and hibernation is now enabled on this computer. The next thing that we're going to do is go into Advantech and let's first look at the version information. I just want to show you what uh, version of XP we're running on here. This is a TPC 1570H and the system is a Windows Embedded Standard 2009, which is really Windows XP with Service Pack 3. Okay, it's the embedded version, so it was custom written for this TPC 1570. The image version is 3.30, and the build number is uh, 004. So now we, kno now we know what we're working with. Let's go back in, all programs, Advantech, and this time we're going to click on a program called
called ADVWF, and that stands for Advanced Write, Advanced Write Filter. And as it comes up here, we got a GUI coming up. Okay, here we go. Here's the Advantech Enhanced Write Filter and File Based Write Filter. We're going to cover both of these in this lesson. Okay, the Enhanced Write Filter is what we're going to do first. What the Enhanced Write Filter does is it will protect the entire hard drive. And if you're not doing data logging, it's a great way to do it. Um, because you can protect the entire drive at one time just by clicking on a button, basically. If you are doing uh, data logging, I would recommend using the Enhanced Write Filter instead of the File-Based Write Filter, stri strictly for the fact that you can save your, your data files to a USB drive, okay? That USB drive will not be protected by the Enhanced Write Filter, and you can do all your data logging to the USB drive. Uh, what the file-based write filter does is it will protect your entire partition, but you can set up exceptions. Uh, certain files like your desktop or your My Documents folder can be set up to be not protected. If that's the case, then you can do data logging to a single folder. Okay. Um, the downside of using the file-based write filter as opposed to the enhanced write filter is that the other utility that we have called HORM, which is Hibernate Once and Resume Many, cannot be used with the file-based write filter. It can only be used with the enhanced write filter with a completely protected drive. We'll get into that later. But right now we're going to set up the enhanced write filter and it's done simply by clicking uh, the Enhanced Write Filter button. And we've already set up our hibernation mode, as you can see. We're protecting the entire drive C. We've got the Enhanced Write Filter going into RAM. And the state currently is disabled. So we go to the Enhanced Write Filter tab. And notice we have a HORM tab here. Um, this is because HORM and, Han and the Enhanced Write Filter work together. So in the Advanced Write Filter tab, all we really have to do is hit Enable. And when we hit Enable, what's going to happen is the computer is going to reboot. All right? So I'm recording a video, so I'm not going to actually hit the Enable button so I can save my video. But this is where you uh, enable the Enhanced Write Filter by hitting the Enable button. So that's that's how you get it started. So I'll press the button and the computer will reboot and we'll continue the video. Okay, I have a desktop now. Uh, my Enhanced Write Filter is enabled. Let me show you um, how the message has changed here. So we'll go into Advantech, Enhanced Write Filter, and when the GUI shows up, we'll show you the status of the Enhanced Write Filter. So now, if you notice here, um, the file-based write filter is grayed out, so we, we cannot use both of these at the same time. So right now, that, that's the first sign that the Enhanced Write Filter is enabled. So we'll go into the Enhanced Write Filter, um, we can see hibernation is enabled. We're protecting drive C. Now the state says enabled. Okay, so this is where we can actually disable it if you want to turn it off to install a piece of software or change uh, any of the settings with Windows. You can, you can do that. You have to just disable the enhanced write filter, make your changes, and then re-enable it. But for right now, um, I'm just going to show you that uh, that's, that's what we have. So we'll hit OK there. We'll exit. And let me show you what it actually does. OK, this is going to uh, take a couple reboots to, to show you. But I have a USB drive connected to this TPC for uh, recording purposes. 
um, I knew I was going to have the enhanced write filter going, so I used an external drive to record my video. And this is a compact flash, and on it I have a sample text file. And what I'm going to do is just drag that to my desktop, and it's copied. So there it is. In this session of Windows, I have a text file on my desktop. So Windows is going to act on it as a text file. I double click on it and Notepad opens up. However, when I do a reboot, this file will disappear because a clean load of Windows has been again uh, loaded at power up. So let me show you um, how that works. I'll just go ahead and hit start, shut down, and restart. Okay, so now we've rebooted, and if you notice, the uh, text file that I copied to the desktop is missing. There was no trick photography involved, I promise. Um, but that's what the enhanced write filter does. Uh, I've protected the entire drive, and it did that when I rebooted. So let's look at the status once again of the enhanced write filter. Go into all programs, Advantech, enhanced write filter. And notice here that the file base write filter button is grayed out. Uh, you cannot run both the file base and the enhanced write filter at the same time. So let's go in and look at the enhanced write filter. Uh, here's the status, hibernation is enabled, drive C is protected. Um, we see here that it's enabled. So again in the enhanced write filter, the disable, we can disable it at this point if we'd like. However, I'm going to show you the other feature of the enhanced write filter which is form. Hibernate once, resume many. This is basically hibernate mode as you would see it in Windows XP Pro uh, as you might have running on your laptop or a desktop computer. Only this hibernate file will be loaded every time the computer gets powered on. So what that gives you is a much quicker boot because it doesn't have to find all those files every time. They're already stored into your hibernate file. So and in the industrial environment, if you have your HMI mounted on a machine, you want that uh, HMI to power up as quickly as possible. So let me give you a little example of uh, what you might want to do. I'm going to open up an internet browser, and you might just make this uh, your application, uh, your HMI application. I am also going to put an on-screen keyboard on the screen at the bottom. I might um, perhaps resize my, my window here so that it uh, all comes up here. Okay, let's resize this window a little bit. I'll bring him up here. Something like that. Now, when we hit this horn button, it's going to generate a hibernate file and power the TPC off. So again, I am not going to press the button since I'm recording a video, but at this point this is where you would hit the horn button. Um, what, what you can do if you don't like um, the screen as it is on the next power up, the next time the computer boots up, you have an option now of pressing F8, which will give you an option to continue booting into your, your Hibernate file, or you can delete the Hibernate file. So again, when you reboot the computer, you can press F8 and delete this Hibernate file and start over again if you would like. So that's how you set up Horm on your computer.